Hey everybody, my name again is Mohamed Imira. Uh, today I'm going to talk uh, uh, about uh, uh, some plays that happened in the game between San, uh, uh, Paris Saint Germain and uh, Zagreb. I think, uh, of course, Paris Saint Germain is from France, Zagreb is from Croatia. If I'm correct, let me know if I'm not correct. Uh, so I'm going to talk about some plays. I've seen it in the game. I would like to share it with you. Uh, before I start the video, please hit subscribe. Uh, if you are not subscribers, so just you know to see the feature video, and hit like because that would help me to actually spread the uh, sp spread the channel to more uh, viewer. Uh, let me know if you have any comment, if you agree with me, or if you disagree or, or disagree with what I'm gonna say. I would like always to know your opinion. I would like to learn from you. Okay, so let's let's jump to the videos. So uh, first two videos gonna be offensive plays. Uh, this like this video is gonna uh, focus on defense. Uh, the reason why defense always is like wins 60 or 70 percent of the game. Uh, defense is the key for winning the game. Defense, fast break, and then organize offense. So most of the focus is gonna be in defense, but we're gonna start with offense. Two plays for offense, and I think five or six plays for uh, defense. Okay. Uh, so the first play I just wanna show you a good pass from the center back for Paris Saint-Germain team. I'm not really sure what the name of this player. I didn't look him up yet, uh, but I really like him. Uh, so let's let's watch uh, let's watch the video. Okay. Okay. So as you see, he's just going to uh, pass the ball uh, as usual. Okay. And look at look at the best. That's a really really good best. Uh, I'm not really sure who's this player uh one second this player i'm not really sure who's he which which country he plays for uh, in fact he plays most of the game which is uh which is was surprised for me because carabach was playing but carabach was playing defense and this kid actually was playing most of the game and he is really good like i think he fits the offensive scheme for Paris saint germain because I think when Carabacci used to play next to uh, the left back, the Danish left back, which I can't remember the name, sorry, I'm not good at names. They used to be uh, like, uh, the, it didn't work well together, uh, Carabacci and the left, uh, the Danish left back. But with this actually center back, everything w worked flaw uh, flawlessly. So that's why I like, uh, I like the center back. He is really good center back. Okay, here we're going to come to the second video. Uh, I want you to watch. The center back again. What did he do to actually create the uh, uh, like create the opportunity to score? And as my previous video uh, with uh, Steen uh, Oftedel, he is the same way. He created the opportunity to score. So let's watch it together. Okay, here we go. He take two players, then he pass it to the left back. Here we go. He took two players, pass it. Okay, it's the left back, scored. Really, really easy. It's 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 a perfect, perfect play. Okay. Uh, I really like the center back. I like what he does. Not just these two plays. It's all the game. He he's creating really good opportunities. Okay. Now we're gonna hit the defense. I just want you in, in this first video. Uh, I want you to show what a good defense look like. Okay. Uh, the defense, the defense movement, how they go out and try to stop the shooting from outside, it's perfect. It's like harmony, it's like symphony. When you see a defense like this, it is really like I enjoy it. I know some people doesn't watch this stuff, but if you focus with the game, if you watch this that, uh, uh, this movement of defense, you will enjoy the game better. Okay, let's look at it. Okay. So look at the defense. Look how they're going to move side to side. Look, he's going to turn back and he's going to take the circle. Okay, he's going to come back again. That's perfect. That's that's a perfect defense. Okay, so you can repeat it. Uh, I love I love this kind of defense. Okay, now we're going to watch the second video. The second video is going to actually show uh, uh, how is the right back, some, uh, how is the right back, Yes, it's the right back. The right back can actually defend the center back and how the teammate can cooperate with him or can work with him to cover him, okay? So I might play this video twice because it's kind of 
Okay, let's look at it. Okay, so let me just explain what's gonna happen. This right back, you see here, he's gonna actually go out. Okay, let's let's look at it. Okay, look where is he going? He's gonna go out to the center back. Okay, because he sees that these two players are kind of beaten. Okay, if he didn't actually go on stop, if he didn't go on stop the center back, it's a hundred percent go. Okay, let's look at it. Look what did he do? He just went out. He stopped it. Okay, stop the play. That's perfect. Okay, let's look at it again. One sec. Here we go. Okay. He went out. He takes a player. And one more thing. Sorry for that. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's look at it. Okay. See, see what what happened here. Okay. He went out. Okay. His teammate here, his teammate is gonna go cover him. You see, he's gonna go cover the left back, which is perfect. That's perfect. That's working together in defense, which is really, really, I love this play. Okay, that's from the Zagreb team. Okay, the third play also is gonna be about defense and the movement of the defense. Again, that's a really good movement. I love this kind of defense. I, I know I'm focused on defense, but because if you know better, if you play handball, if you know defense is the main main thing for any coach. If you have a good defense, you can create fast break. If you have a good defense and you can create fast break, you will win most of your games. There is no there is no doubt. Okay, so let's look at it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna look at the movement side to side. How they are gonna uh, alternate the circle? Okay. Look, he took the circle. Okay, he came back. He left the circle. His teammate took him. Okay. Uh, so that's that's exactly what we need to do. Like you need to know how how to take the circle, how to move sideways, and how to attack outside. Okay. The first video, I just want to show you how the defend the defender can work out with the goalkeeper to actually help the goalkeeper to save the ball. Uh, so there's two things you're gonna watch in this video. The first thing is it was a good defense. They like I, I think they were they were beaten at one point but they they recovered in a good manner. And then one of the player he covered one of the angle for the goalkeeper and the goalkeeper took the other angle. So let's watch it and we will see what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So you see, I think the defense here was beaten. Look this Blair. Okay, Carabacci. Okay. Uh, let's look at it again. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop it. Look at Carabacci. Uh, Carabacci, uh, sorry, I'm, I, I don't know uh, how, how to pronounce his name really well. Okay, so he's going to jump. He's going to take this side for the goalie. And uh, the goalie is going to go to the right side. Okay, and that's how he can work was your goalkeeper so if he jump i'll show you now he's gonna jump okay and look the goalkeeper went to the right side that's actually working together as a team okay the player take a block for certain angle the goalkeeper run to the other angle and that's perfect okay okay the fifth defense video i'm gonna show you here a mistake however Sometimes mistake happen, uh, not because the player uh, made the mistake, it's because you have to make a decision. And if you didn't make a decision in a millisecond, then you are going to make the mistake. Whose mistake? Sometimes it's just a communication thing. Sometimes nobody mistakes, sometimes you left, like in like they say here in USA, in nobody's land. Okay, so let, let, let's watch what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we're gonna watch a defensive kind of mistake, or I, I don't think it's a mistake. It is something that the circle did, that it's really good, that actually uh, facilitated his, uh, uh, facilitate his right back player to score. And l let's look at it now. Okay, so I want you, I want you to watch what the circle did here. Okay, it might be a little bit illegal, but I, I'm fine with it. Okay, I'm fine with it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. 
Look, he's bullying this circle. He's bullying this defender jersey. They both actually bullying each other, each other jersey. Okay, what happened is that this player, he, uh, okay, so let's move it. Okay, you see this player actually depend on his teammate to go out and defend. However, his teammate was late, and the reason why, because the circle actually bowled him a little bit. Okay, you see the ball, and when he did, like when he, when the circle let go, the the the, the player already jumping. Okay, and he scored. So it's a smart, like a smart player of the circle. Uh, this player shouldn't actually. He should have fought how the circle bullying him and he should go out uh, it could be 23 he should have go all the way with the player there is so many possibilities sometimes in handball is not just one mistake it is could be different mistakes okay it could be this guy's mistake 23 he should have actually keep going with him because he was shooting and the 22 he should go out and he should fold the uh, 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 the player bullying the jersey okay okay here I want to show you a, a big big mistake okay from the defense it is really like this really important to watch okay uh, because I don't know how a big team like Zagreb does this type of mistake I'm not really sure okay so let's watch it okay okay I'm gonna stop here okay okay so you see where is the ball the ball is actually going to the uh, left back Okay, the ball is going to the left back, which means, which means, do you see these two players that I'm highlighting, uh, this defender and this defender? I'm not really sure why they're standing there. Okay, I'm not really sure why. This player should be down here. Okay, down here. And this player should be in, in like down here. And the wing should be down here. Okay, and they actually not well positioned here. And... That's what's gonna happen when they are not well positioned, and give, like also add to the mistake that this guy is out. Okay, so there is two things: either this guy go down, or this player need to actually move a little bit closer, because there is no like why is this guy standing here? There is, the ball is already at the left back. There is no need for him to stand there, and this guy he shouldn't be standing here. There is no player here. You know what I mean? He should be down here. Okay, so let's look what happened when this happened. Okay, here we go. That's what exactly happened. Okay, the circle run and it's big open space that you cannot defend. Okay, that's exactly what happened. So let's watch it again in uh, full speed. Okay, this guy should shift. They should shift down here. They should shift. I don't know why they didn't. And here we go mistake was a goal right away okay so the last video sorry i i i know it's long video it's really good stuff okay like believe me that's a really good stuff okay the last video i just want to show you how sometimes this defensive player defensive player can outsmart the offensive player and they have type of anticipation to what's going to happen and you will see that's a really really smart play from the defensive player okay let's watch it together here we go. Look what he's gonna do. Okay, he just read the play. And here we go. Good defense, fast break, go. Let's watch it again. Okay, let's look at this. You see, he anticipated. First of all, okay, this guy jump. Okay, the, the, the offensive player jump. Number one rule do not jump and you know and stay in no man land if you jump it's better you shoot okay here is here is when you jump and you try to pass okay you cannot change like when you are jumping you won't be able to change anything you have to go with the bass it's over because if you went down it's it's uh, like it's gonna be traveling foul you know so he jumped and like he became a no man land he has to pass and this player did the right thing he read the blade okay and he took it oops fast break really really good stuff i love i love defense if you are if you want to be a good handball player if you are a coach if you didn't focus in defense 
then you are actually coaching or playing the wrong game okay defense is like 60 70 percent of the game okay uh sorry guys i know this mo uh, this video was long i hope you actually learned something and please let me know in in uh, in the comment let me know if i mentioned something wrong let me know if you have better idea like i said in, in some of the videos i said what should have been done like the defensive mistake i said that Blair should shift in the defense, you know? So let me know if I'm saying something wrong or no. You, uh, some of you played handball, some of you might know more than I do. So let me know. Okay, thanks everybody. Uh, have a good day, bye.